Hi everyone, Phil from Tefa Techs here. Today we're going to be looking at this from Gelid. It's basically a dual ring ARGB fan. So that means you've got two lots of lighting on the fan, one on the front side, one on the back side. So whichever angle you're looking at, it should look good. We're going to test these, see actually what they're like. If you're interested in purchasing this, we do have links in the description below. Those links will take you to the cheapest price available in your country. Okay, so we're looking at the gel solution Stella 120 millimeter dual ring ARGB fan, which basically means it's got lights on both sides of the fan, so you can see it from whatever angle you're looking at it. ARGB means it takes the three pin connection, or I like to call it four minus one because it's basically two pins, miss one, and then one pin. So it sort of looks like it's four, but it's actually got one missing. Um, but let's just go through what it says on the bottom. In basics, it's saying about the 24 ARGB LEDs. You've got dual ring lighting, addressable RGB controls, airflow optimizing impeller. So that means it's optimized for chucking air through rather than pressure in at the center, um, which what works better as a, a case fan than cooling something like a radiator or CPU cooler. Uh, you've got a noiseless motor drive IC and ultra durable double ball bearings on there. And it's got all your ratings for all your standard RGB modes and so forth. It does go from 500 to 1600 RPM on there as well. So let's have a look at the sides. The sides say roughly the same thing. The back again says roughly the same thing. It does tell you about the stuff I've just mentioned there. Um, fan current is 0 0.19 max. LED voltage is 5. Um, DC voltage is 12. So there's not a huge amount on there to see. So the cubic feet meter airflow is 70 max. Um, so it gives you a rough idea. But all your stuff is there you should need. Okay, so this is what you've got in the box. You've got four screws to screw it in. It's nice to see they are black, which matches the fan. So that's always good. Then you've got the cabling, what attaches to the fan. It's already attached, shall we say, and permanently attached. You've got your four pin connector for your fan, so that plugs into your motherboard. It's a PWM, which basically means it changes the speed of the fan depending on how hot it is and depending on what your motherboard's set up for. Then you've got the ARGB cable. This is addressable RGB, which is your two pins minus one plus one. Um, so it's class as four pin, but I like to class it as three. Uh, sorry, four pin minus one, so it doesn't get mixed up with the older four pin type. Now the reason why there's two headers on here, there is another one there. Is so if you've got two of these fans or another RGB item, you can plug it into there. So they all run off a of one connection on the motherboard, which is a good idea. The only downside is I would have thought they would have done the same thing with the fan controller um, or the fan cable is have another option so you could plug a fan into that. So they could all run off a of one header. For example, you were using three or of these on a water cooler or you decided to have a case with four of them. Not all motherboards have four headers on the board to plug in four fans. Um, so the sort of gone the right way with the ARGB cable but not the fan cable which is a shame but going on to the fan you've got the fan itself it looks like your traditional style of fan slightly swooping blades it's four five six seven eight nine looks like nine blades was I right one yeah so there's nine blades there uh, the center is roughly the same size as most other fans so that's good to know uh, it is sort of a clear fan, so that makes it uh, light up better. And you've got a ring there which will light up. And then on the reverse side, you've got another ring there which will light up. So that means it will light up shining out of a case and into a case, depending on how you've got it positioned, which is always good. Looking at the reverse side, you've got all the information on there. It tells you about DC current, uh, voltage and all that there as well. And then it's held to the frame, uh, or at least the motor is. Uh, to the frame with four beams going across and obviously the cable going across there as well. Uh, one thing you'll notice it is rubberized on all four corners on both sides so when you are screwing it into something that makes gives it less vibration, less chance it's going to move around and so forth which is very good. So for example if I try and push this on the desk 
it doesn't slide very well. So that means it's going to grip well, less vibrations equals less noise. So we're going to test this and see how it goes. So overall we've got a very good looking fan, so, well, it looks like Las Vegas really, and you can see it wherever you stand uh, for your PC, because there's lights on the front and the back of it, and obviously you can see them on the side, so no matter how you've got it positioned in your case, you should be able to see the lights, unless obviously you've got a case which um, has got no see-through side on it, otherwise then it's a bit pointless buying. But saying that, the airflow is also good, you're getting roughly 70 cubic feet per minute, which is a very good airflow. Static pressure is roughly 1.3. Uh, noise on it running at standard levels was inaudible over the rest of the fans in the PC case. Uh, if you got it on full though, it will make a bit more noise, but in all honesty, it's pretty quiet for what you get because the fan only goes at 1600 RPM max and at a minimum it goes at 500. Again, it is addressable RGB, which is the three pin addressable RGB header, which is five volts. It does look like a four pin, but there is one missing, as we said, in the middle. So it's two pins minus one plus one. So it's actually classed as three, not four, but it is the five volt. That means addressable. So if your motherboard does not have an addressable header on it, or you don't have a controller what takes the addressable five volt connection, you will not be able to use the RGB lighting. But otherwise, very happy at it, especially for the price. The price does fluctuate, so click the link in the description, which will take you and show you the latest price available at the moment. Uh, we recommend this product. It does everything we ask it to do. Actually, we don't just recommend it. We highly recommend it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.